What's going on guys, Mike O back, and today, well, it's a snowy day, a very snowy day. It's white as can be outside right now. Snow's falling, it's blowing, it's piling up. We gotta be getting close to a foot or so where I'm at. So I don't think I'm gonna get any mail today. They say they come in all types of weather. BS, definitely didn't happen last week, but we'll see. I have some stuff that has piled up since my last mail day video. Uh, some redemptions, a purchase, and some stuff from fellow YouTubers. I'll get into that in a minute. Before I jump into that though, I wanna give a shout out to Baseball Collector. Mike, you did a great job with your Hall of Fame vote contest. It was definitely a major success. Brought a lot of people together, a lot of people enjoyed it. Uh, the amount of video responses, the amount of ballots cast, the wide variety of people who received votes in this community. It was, uh, it was just a lot of fun. I'm honored to be part of your Hall of Fame class. Thank you for everyone who, uh, who cast a vote for me. I'm blown away by the support I've gotten and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to address that. It was, uh, it was fun, a lot of fun. And I look forward to seeing that continue. So next year will be a tremendous amount of fun too. Hopefully uh, see some see some more uh, support for some of the old time YouTubers, some of the people that helped build this community. That would be amazing. And that's all I have on that. Just, it, it was a ton of fun and definitely honored for all the uh, positive things that were said about me. So definitely appreciate it. So let's get into some of the cards. I will show off a care package first. Well, I'm not gonna show the entire thing off, but this is coming from Matt, FlashFan3. He's been doing YouTube for quite a while. You should check out his channel. Sent me a couple stacks of Phillies cards, and I'm gonna show off a few of them here real quick. Just some of the ones that I like the most a little bit. Right here, a nice Roy Halladay. This is from Gypsy Queen. Very cool. Don't believe I have that one. I do have this, but it's definitely a classic for Phillies fans. Chase Utley and Ryan Howard, classic combos. Very cool. So that is nice. I did not have this one, Jimmy Rollins and Ernie Banks from Heritage. So that is a nice card there. I have this, but this is honestly one of my favorite cards. Just absolutely love 89 tops. Love that Schmidt, awesome picture. It would look really good with blue ink and I do have one already. So <laughs> it'd still look good with blue ink. I have a PSA 10 as well. I just, I love that card. That's one of those cards. It's like a 50 cent card that I just, Love it, it's great. Here's uh, one more card I'll show off. This is an underappreciated set. It's fabulous for getting autographs on, but I mean, it's just a cool set uh, regardless. So some of the people are looking to do set registries. If you're looking for a cheap set, I don't know it's cheap because I didn't look it up, but I'm guessing 93 Upper Deck isn't too expensive, but they're just gorgeous cards. Beautiful design from Upper Deck, well-made, really colorful and bright. So that is really cool. Matt, thank you so much for that package. Totally unnecessary. Very much appreciate it. Then I have this stuff here. This was all sent from some of the guys who got in my latest PSA group submission. And I appreciate uh, you guys being involved in that. And to you guys who sent this stuff, I appreciate it. I know I sent a message in the Facebook group, but honestly, while I was breaking everything down, it kind of got mixed up and I'm not sure who's exactly sent what. So I do thank you. Unnecessary, unneeded but still appreciate it. So got this Phil Lins. This is one of those buybacks out of one of the Topps products. So that's pretty neat there. Then got a Randy Lurch, which I'm assuming is a TTM. So that's really cool. It says go Phil's, Ran Randy Lurch. That's a nice one. Then got this is out of, I believe it's this year's Topps, 2017 Topps. One of the manufactured relics, but it is neat. Nice Aaron Nola, who pitched really well today in a spring training game. And then we got a few Tom Brady's. So this is 2002 Upper Deck MVP, top 10. It's a mint nine. It's a nice slab for the collection. And then a 2005 Tops Tom Brady All Pro Gem Mint 10. So a couple Brady's for the Brady PC. Very appreciate it. So got some nice stuff from the community, which again, I appreciate, uh, please don't feel free. Don't feel uh, the need to send stuff, but again, appreciate it because you took time, effort, energy to do that. 
and had that thought. So thank you. All right, we got redemptions. So one of these redemptions is really cool and the other one isn't too good. So I'll show you the one that I'm not thrilled with first. This is at a five star. This was actually just a purchase. I bought the redemption card on eBay. It was, I think, going low. So I got it pretty cheap. But it is Andrew Benatendi, which is cool. I like Andrew Benatendi. But either Benatendi or the Topps rep, uh, there was definitely something mixed up because that's where he signed. That's where he's supposed to sign. So there's a better look at the card. Uh, yeah, it's... um. It doesn't look great, in my opinion. Not thrilled with it. This big silk... I, I'm not in love with Five Star this year as it is, in all honesty. Um, I think past years were a little better. But, um, yeah, that just blank is just really distracting. And then the fact of where it is signed is actually right over a dark spot. So, this one is... I think it's... I don't know if it's numbered. Maybe it's not numbered. But, regardless, it's kind of... I don't know ugly so at some point i may move that um i have a bunch of ben attendee autos and i like them but that one's just not one i like and uh this one this one is pretty cool pulled this one pulled the redemption and it finally came in this is numbered to 10 it's a five star and it is Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. that's right Corey seager very nice, Corey Seager. This one is inscribed. I'm not sure exactly what they call this. It's numbered to 10. But it is inscribed to work hard. So a very nice Corey Seager auto. And I'm definitely a Seager fan. I buy a bunch of his stuff. And I actually have been really lucky and pulled a bunch of his stuff as well. So I, uh, I guess I PC Corey Seager. So Mr. Uh, Papino is not the only one. And... I'm sure if Pepino Man got that, he would probably strip down and go diving into a pool. But we wouldn't see that because the YouTube police would yank that thing right down. That may or may not have happened recently. Some of you guys who watch Pepino Man probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Final thing here is a purchase. This is a purchase from eBay. Picked it up. Been picking up a lot of Stanton stuff. This is the 2010 Topps Chrome Mike Stanton Refractor PSA gem mint 10 this is one of i guess the rapper redemptions but either way i thought it was uh i thought it was a pretty fair price that i got it for it's got some nice shine to it i still believe stanton's stuff has a lot of room for growth obviously it's gone up just with the fact that he was acquired by the yankees but i think once he goes ahead and gets really started there in new york and you know, the season's underway. If the Yankees are playing well, if he's playing well, I really think his stuff's going to rise. So been picking some up when I got the, have gotten the chance. So that is a nice one there. So that's basically the cards I have to show. And I addressed Baseball Collector's fantastic contest and all that fun that went into that. Now, I don't have much else to talk about. I did finally sign up for an Instagram account. People have been asking me for like three years, do you have an Instagram account? I do. Right now, I think it's M-I-K-E-O-R-Z-111, Mike Orr's 111. So I've been using that, posting some stuff, and it, it's a lot of fun. I actually have fun with it. I have fun checking out stuff. I've already kind of conversed on there with some fellow YouTubers. I'm always going to do YouTube ahead of Instagram, but I think Instagram's a cool little tool to fool around with from time to time. And, you know, the community's just fun, so the more you can keep in contact, obviously the Facebook groups, Stuff like that are a lot of fun as well. And there's a bunch of those out there. And that's all I have for today. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. And then shovel some snow and clean up some stuff and carry on. But hopefully you guys are having a great day. If you love the snow, have fun with it. If you hate the snow, sorry. If you don't even know what snow is because you live out in the West Coast, I guess that's great too. I personally am not a snow hater. I, I don't really mind the snow at all. But I know Serenity Sports 50 Plus hates it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.